In the last session, we looked at uh, exception handling using the try-catch block. In this session, we're going to look at handling errors using the NS error. So, what I've got here is I've got a new project, and I've uh, included the person classes .h and .m and imported them. However, the first example is a uh, data access work where we're going to grab the contents of a text file and we're going to output it to the screen. So what I've done is I've created a new test.txt file in the documents folder and we're grabbing the uh, contents of the file using the ns string string with contents of file selector and then we're outputting these to the uh, to the screen. So let's just try this out see how it works. Let's run this. Looks good. This is a test of ns error. That's the text that I put in the file. However, if we change something here, we change which file it is, we save it and run it, all of a sudden we get a, a return value of null out to the screen. And we don't really have very much information why this happened. So we'll look at NS error and how it can help us figure out what happened. So what we want to do here is we want to put NS error in here, a pointer, and we'll just call it error. And over here, next, we want to use the address of error. And then we're going to use a, a conditional statement to test for uh, the information being correct. So let's start with file contents. And we'll test for it being nil. And if it is, we will output could not read document percent at or the reason why and then we will output error and the localized description that should give us the information we want otherwise if the file contents were not nil we're just going to output it just like our previous statement was save it and run it could not read document the file test2.txt couldn't be opened because there is no such file if we change this back save it and run it again this is a test of NS error. So, looks like it's working, it's handling the error. We could put other statements in here to uh, handle it in a different way if we wanted to. Just add brackets. So we've looked at how to use NS error in existing statements that are built into the language. We're going to look at how to add it to classes that we've created. And so that's why we've got the person class included. So, let's go into person.h and we're going to add an extra version of getGender which will use NS error. And so we'll call it get gender2. And we will add NS error. We're going to use two asterisks in this case. Error. That's good. We'll copy that. Save this file. Go to the person.m. We'll add it after the previous get gender. And we're just going to copy the same functionality and we'll add to that. Okay, so the only thing we really need to change is the else block. NS error takes a dictionary, and this allows you to send back a lot more information. So we're going to create a new NS mutable dictionary pointer, and we're going to call that error detail. So we're going to create a new copy of an NS mutable dictionary. We're going to use dictionary in here, which will create us a new one. We want to add a new key value pair here. And we could add multiples of these if we wanted to, but we only need, really need to add one in for testing here. We're going to give it a value of gender is not a valid value. And for key, we'll use NS localized description key. And the next thing we're going to do is we will say error is equal to and we will create a new ns error and we'll use error with domain and we're going to say my domain just enter a domain value we'll give it an error code and we're going to use the previous dictionary which we created the error detail there we go and the last thing we want to do is we still want to return so we're going to return nil. Okay, so that looks good for this. Let's go back to main.m now. And let's add some functionality in here. So let's create a new NS error pointer 
error and we will create a new person pointer p and we're going to create allocate some space for it person alloc and we're going to do an init with name let's grab gene again and five foot four but this time we're going to make a deliberate mistake with the gender we're going to make her r don't know what gender that is but it's obviously an error next thing we want to do is we want to output this and so what we have to do is we have to call the uh, method that we have the selector so we'll give a pointer we'll create a new ns string gender we're going to make that equal to p get gender 2 and we'll put that error in there but we're going to put the at symbol and there we go now let's do a conditional to test for the error if gender is equal to nil which was the value we returned if there was a problem what we want to do is we want to output ns log at and we'll use percent at and then we'll return the localized description again error localized description great else we want to return the actual gender gender there we go okay let's see what this does save it run it gender is not a valid value now if we change that to M save it and run it, it says male if we change it to F we'll make her happy and let's run it and she's female so that's the correct value so we've uh, covered the NS error functionality and how to use it in existing selectors or functions methods and how to add it into our classes to provide that kind of functionality in handling errors